Hello, this is Teacher May Sam. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to talk about another pronunciation lesson which is called as ED endings. Let's get the ball rolling. You know, if you pay attention, previously I did record a video about pronunciation of uh, S or Z endings. If you want to watch that, you can find it someplace over here. You know what? In ED endings, we also have three rules. Rule number one. You know, if a word ends in an unvoiced consonant, okay, we add ED, but we pronounce it like unvoiced T. Okay, unvoiced, unvoiced. For example, walk. I walked. Not I walked. Tremendous problem, tremendous problem. I walk today, yesterday, I walked, walked. It is not walked. Or for example, jump. I jump today, yesterday I jumped, jumped. It is not jumped. I mean, that is difficult for our tongue to roll. I mean, that is why these rules are made for, right? We use these rules in order to have easier and, I mean, more comfortable, you know, pronunciation style. That is it. Don't worry about it. By practicing, you can do it. Rule number two. If a word ends in voiced consonant, okay, voiced consonant, we are going to add ed again, but we are going to pronounce it as voiced d, because d is voiced. Very easy. Easy peasy. Lemon is squeezy, right? For example, clean. I clean my room every day. Yesterday, I cleaned my room. You see? Cleaned. Cleaned. Not cleaned. This is really important. This is a tremendous problem. Most of the students are killing me, actually. This is cleaned, not cleaned. Don't make it weird. Next, move. I move forward usually. Yesterday I moved backward. You see, moved, not moved. Moved, no. Moved, moved. After v, you add d. Moved. Okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Rule number three, the final rule. If a word ends in t or d, you can add ud. Ud. For example, lift. I lifted the chair. You see, lifted, lift, lifted, lifted the chair. Add. I added some information. The teacher added some information yesterday. Right? Excellent. Live long and prosper. Take care.